and today we are continuing with our chapter 15 calculations and specifically today we're going to talk about how you do titration calculations. So the equations that we've talked about so far are how to calculate the pH, which is defined as minus the log of the hydronium ion concentration. pOH is minus the log of the hydroxide ion. And we said that if you wanted the concentration for hydronium ion, it's 10 to the minus pH. Concentration of hydroxide, 10 to the minus pOH. Recall that pH plus pOH have to equal 14 because of the dissociation constant of water. And then we talked about uh, what the definition of normality is. And normality is defined as the number of equivalents per liter of solution. So normality is calculated uh, by using the number of equivalents times the molarity, where N, again, is the number of equivalents and M is the molarity in moles per liter of a solution. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the simpler version of calculations, and that is titration calculations where you use molarity of the acid and molarity of the base. And it only applies when the ratio of acid to base is a one to one mole ratio. So again, reviewing the equations, Molarity is number of moles of solute per one liter of solution. So M is N over V. And for a one-to-one -one mole ratio between the acid and the base, we can say that MA VA equals MB VB, where MA is the molarity of the acid, VA is volume of the acid, and MB is molarity of the base and VB is the volume of the base. And it's important to remember here that when you're doing a titration, you have a known solution, which is your reference solution, and it may be your acid or it may be your base. You titrate using a, um, an indicator that tells you when you've reached an equivalent amount of acid and base. And so if you know, for instance, the volume that you used of the acid, and you know the volume of the base and the molarity of the base, you can calculate the molarity of the acid, knowing that the equivalent point is where the moles of H plus are equal to the moles of OH minus. So using the equation MAVA equals MBVB, we're going to solve a problem. What is the molarity of an acid solution? If 45 mils of 2.5 molar sodium hydroxide is needed to neutralize 15 milliliters of the unknown molarity acid. So identifying variables. MA is what we're looking for. VA is our 15 mils of the acid that we're titrating. MB is our molarity of the base. This is our known reference solution. And VB is 45 mils of that known reference solution. Our equation MAVA equals MBVB. We need to do algebra. We need to rearrange to solve for molarity of acid. So we're going to divide both sides by volume of acid. That gives us molarity of acid is molarity of base times volume of base over volume of acid. Now I'm plugging in the numbers. So the molarity of the acid is going to be our molarity of the base, which is 2.50 times our volume of base, 45 mils, divided by the uh, volume of the acid that we use, which is 15. Calculator gives me 7.5 molar. Um, so first off, let's make sure we're going to cancel our units. And then here, the calculator gives me only two sig figs. If you look up here, we had three sig figs going. So I'm going to have to add a zero, and that leaves us with, sorry, and that leaves us with 7.50 molar. So now remembering what normality means, normality is defined as the number of equivalents of solute per liter of solution. So when we mean equivalence, we mean an equivalent of an acid is one mole of H3O plus ions. An equivalent of base would be one mole of hydroxide ions. So for example, a one molar HCl solution delivers one molar uh, hydronium ion because 
uh, aqueous uh, HCl is going to give us H plus plus Cl minus, remembering that H plus doesn't exist alone in uh, aqueous solution, it would be H3O plus. And again, if I had one molar sodium hydroxide solution, that would deliver a one molar hydroxide in solution. So again, that's because sodium hydroxide aqueous will dissociate and will get Na plus and OH minus, and again, one to one ratio. So normality is again the number of equivalents of solute per liter of solution. The equation capital N equals M times M, where capital N is normality, lowercase n is number of equivalents, and M is molarity. So if we were asked, what is the normality of a 0 0.050 molar calcium hydroxide solution? You would have to recognize that there are two equivalents of hydroxide for every one equivalent of calcium hydroxide. So N, the normality would be equal to, here's uh, the definition here of what this capital M means. It means 0 0.050 mole of calcium hydroxide in a liter of solution. We know you get two moles of hydroxide for every one mole of calcium hydroxide. So that results in a 0 .0, uh, 0 0.10 molar hydroxide ions per liter of solution. So that results in a 0 0.10 normal calcium hydroxide solution. So again, a 0 0.050 molar solution is a 0 0.10 normal solution. And again, because there's two equivalents of hydroxide for every mole of calcium hydroxide. So if we're doing titration using normality, uh, we're going to be using normality of acid and normality of base. Our equation would be NaVA equals NaVB, where Na is normality of acid, VA is volume of acid, NB is normality of base, VB is volume of base. So... NaVA equals NBVB. Let's solve a problem. What is the normality of an unknown sodium hydroxide solution if 30 mils of 1.50 molar sulfuric is needed to neutralize 20 mils of the unknown base? Now, right off the bat here, this is 1.5 molar sulfuric, and we have to convert that from molar to normal to begin with, two equivalents per mole. So normality of the acid has to be determined first. Here's our molarity, and remember that there are two equivalents per mole of sulfuric. So here's my equation. Plugging in the normality of the acid is going to be two equivalents times 1.50 molar sulfuric per liter of solution. That's going to give me a 3.0036 big normal sulfuric, so that's my normality of acid. Now I can go in and identify my variables. Here's my normality of acid, volume of acid. Normality of base is what we're solving. Volume for base is the unknown. Here is my equation. I've rearranged to solve for the normality of the base, which is normality acid, volume of acid, divided by volume of base. Here are my numbers plugged in. Canceling out milliliters is going to leave me with normality of my base. And noticing I needed three sig figs, and I've got three sig figs. So the normality of my base is 4.50 normal sodium hydroxide. So this is Ms. Augustine. I hope this helped with the calculations. I'll go back to this slide. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.